the brand new 16 inch MacBook Pro launch date has been moved and it's quite a big change to when it looks like it's going to be coming out now with that M3 Pro and that M3 Max chipset inside it. So today I want to go over the details about all of this and also how powerful the M3 Pro and the M3 Max is going to be. We will also go over all the details about the M3 Max 14 inch MacBook Pro release date and price too. So as we know now, the M2 journey is near its end. Most devices that are expected to get an M2 to the M2 Ultra have now been rolled out. WWDC showed us Apple rolling out the last chipset. What was that M2 Ultra? It has also been over six months since we got the M2 Pro and the M2 Max upgraded into the 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pro. These chipsets provided about 20 to 30% more power than the M1 Pro and the M1 Max for CPU and GPU. Then we got about 40% more faster for machine learning with the neural engine speeds. Looking forward to the next generation of the 14 inch and the 16 inch MacBook Pro, it's unlikely that we're going to get any sort of big design changes, but the main changes will be that chipset inside it. So I'm talking about that M3 Pro and also that M3 Max. So with this going forwards, a lot of reports you will see here will be either for the 14 or 16 inch MacBook Pros and most likely the reports are for both the models. Apart from the odd few bits and pieces like display changes, battery sizes, wattage and maybe a few other specs too. But today for the 14 inch MacBook Pro, let's focus on this big release date change. And also I want to tell you about what the power potential we will get with the M3 Pro and also the M3 Max. Ming-Chi Kuo has told us already that the M3 Pro and the M3 Max are going to be in production at the end of 2023, ready for the early half of 2024. As we know, we're expecting the M3 chip, the normal one, to come out either this summer or more likely to come out in the fall of 2023. And this will be put in the likes of the MacBook Air 13 inch and also the brand new 13 inch MacBook Pro and also quite possibly the 24 inch iMac 2. However, one question that you guys are probably wanting to see is what kind of boost in performance are we going to see with the M3 Pro and the M3 Max? Well, the M1 Pro, M2 Pro, the M1 Max and the M2 Max has given us amazing performance already and the chipsets of these are made on 5 nanometer dies. But with the M3 Pro and the M3 Max, we've been told that these chipsets are going to be made on a 3 nanometer die, as you can see here. This will mean that transistors and everything will be made even smaller, and in return, this means the chips will be even more efficient and give us better performance before adding additional cores or even ramping up the speed of those clock speeds of those cores. I will talk more about cores being assigned to the M3 Pro and the M3 Max in the spec sheet a bit later on. However, we can probably expect around about a 100% increase in power on the M3 Pro to the M1 Pro and also a 100% increase in power of the M3 Max to the M1 Max that only came out 18 months ago. When you think about this, this is incredible that when these chipsets are released, Release, that this will just be over two years between them and we will have chipsets that are basically double the speed. So this is really exciting as the M2 chipsets over the M1 gave us around about 20 to 40% increases instead. So for me with my thoughts, the M3 Pro and the M3 Max to get those extra cores inside it, to be honest, I think this is going to be the norm going forwards now. So for example, we got this with the M2 Pro and the M2 Max or even just the M2 over the M1. At the end of the day, it looks like Apple's way of thinking, the more cores, the merrier and the better. So I think this is potentially how Apple are going to be planning going to M3, M4, M5 and so on, so forth. So, you know, more cores, definitely better. And it does show that we are going to get a lot more power this time. Also, especially it can be built on three nanometer die. For the actual release date being moved out a bit more further, I will talk a little bit more about this in detail and the reasons why a little bit further on into this video. But it does actually make a lot of sense when you hear about it. 
However, I will also say at this point that not all leaks and reports are 100% proof they'll be coming true in the new MacBooks. As I've said in loads of other videos too, I can only present to you what I've been told and shown like what you've seen here today. However, if you are watching this video still, then you're as curious as I am in knowing what's going to be said about the new MacBooks anyway, no matter if they come true or not. So, with the latest reports out of the way, let's now talk about the release date. Then after that, I'm going to talk about this channel's giveaway that is happening very soon. And then after that, I will also talk to you about the specs that we're going to see inside the 14-inch MacBook Pro and also the price too. So starting with the release date, with Apple's journey basically complete, apart from the iPad Air and the 24-inch iMac missing an M2 chipset, every other Apple Mac and also the top range iPads have the new type of M2 inside it now. Apple is likely to start from the bottom again, so I'm talking about the initial M3 first, then after we'll get the M3 Pro, M3 Max, and then finally the M3 Ultra. So with this in mind, the new M3 chipset will be in the, say, the likes of the 13 and 15 inch MacBook Air, a new 13 inch MacBook Pro, and also the iMac before any other devices that will get the M3 Pro or the M3 Max. As the 15 inch Air only just got introduced in the summer of 2023, it is unlikely we'll see any upgrades with an M3 at least now until spring 2024. So with this, you're probably wondering why it's going to be spring next year. Well, most likely it's because of Vision Pro that was introduced, or first shown at WWDC 2023. And this actually has an M2 chipset inside it. So I don't think Apple will be introducing any M3 chipset devices until this is released, what is going to be early 2024. So the M3 chipset, it may come at spring or it may come at WWDC 2023. 2024 and then with that we may get the m3 pro and the m3 max maybe at wwdc 2024 if we get the normal m3 in springtime or more likely it will be in the fall of 2024 we've had multiple reports that apple are going to be using three nanometer dies on their m3 variant chipsets and it looks like this is going to be starting production at the end of 2023 but the first three nanometer chip will actually be the a17 that will go into the iPhone 15 Pro models first. With all of this though in mind though, the exact date is still a little bit up in the air at the moment. But like I do say, I think it's more likely the earliest we are going to see an M3 Pro or the M3 Max is summer next year at WWDC 2024. But there again, it could also fall into the actual fall of the year and that will happen as well at the end of 2024. So there is a little bit more time we're going to have to wait to get our hand on that. So then guys, just quickly, this Friday on June 30th I will be doing the giveaway live stream for one of these three prizes so basically I'm going to be giving away one of these prizes to three separate people so one person will get some airpods free someone will get some airpods too and somebody else will get an iPhone 13 Pro Max and the announcement is happening this Friday like I said on June 30th all the details of when it's going to happen are in this video above here and also I've left a link as well what's also below in my description for more details about what, how to enter in and everything like that. So do make sure you do click on that link to find out all the details. But I will just say this though guys is that it's going to be a really really great live event and also there might be another chance of another giveaway happening and also I just want to say again that there's possibly there's going to be lots of scammers and spammers out there right now they're also going to try and jump in on this but what i will say is if any of them try to contact you by whatsapp or telegram or tell you to contact them by that this is not me these are scammers please do report them as you can see here and like i said the actual winners will be announced only on the live stream this friday and make sure again like i said to go to the link that i put in my description of my video to find out all the details into how to enter in completely and with that guys let's return back to the video and we're back into the video and i've also changed shirts again so with this then guys i'm now going to talk about the specs that we're most likely going to see in the 14 inch macbook pro and also talk to you about the price too 
So the main thing to probably take away for design is not much is going to be changing here. The design language that we've had since the MacBook Pro 14 inch, what came with the M1 Pro and the M1 Max isn't really going to change at all. There might be some slight little tweaks to the design, but nothing major. But that basically means then we will still be getting that 14 inch XDR liquid retina mini LED display with a resolution of 3024 by 1964 and of course this is still going to remain as a ProMotion 120 hertz display. The actual storage options are probably most likely going to stay as well so this will be starting at 512 gigabytes most likely for your M3 Pro and M3 Max going all the way up to 8 terabytes of an SSD. For the actual chipsets we will be getting that M3 Pro and the Max and this will either be a 12 or 14 core CPU depending on which chipset you pick if you get the bin version or not and then also this will start from a 19 core m3 pro uh, for the gpu and this would be the bin version going all the way up to the maximum 44 core gpu in the fully maxed out m3 max chipset for actual ram you'll be able to pick between 16 gigabytes all the way up to 96 gigabytes of ram and that will be in the m3 max to so pick that option the body will be made out of aluminum or aluminium and then the ports you will still get the MagSafe, the three USB-C, Thunderbolt 4 ports, HDMI 2.1 and of course that SD card slot too. The centre stage camera is probably not going to change much, it will still be a 1080p camera and battery life is most likely going to be up to around about 18 hours on this device. And again the price based on this new device is that we're getting yourself a 12 core CPU and a 19 core G. GPU, the bin version, and 16 gigabytes of RAM, and also the box standard 512 gigabytes of storage. This will come in at the same price at 1,999 US dollars. So then, that is a summary of the new 14-inch MacBook Pro. And as you can see, the main change is just M3 Pro and M3 Max inside it. But one thing that I would also say, though, on my thoughts and wishes, what I'd love to see when the M3 Pro and the M3 Max MacBook Pros come out, is that Apple retain keeping the M2 Pro and the M3 Max 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pros or at least just the 14 inch model with the bin CPU inside it and the bin GPU. At the end of the day we have this right now with the MacBook Air so for example we can get the M1 MacBook Air and we can also get the 13 and 15 inch M2 MacBook Air and I'd love this ability to be available for you guys and also for the price to be a little bit cheaper on that bin version of the 14 inch macbook pro but that's my thoughts on that do you think that apple should do the same i would love to know and also on that note guys it's time to wrap up this video so if you have enjoyed watching it please do press the like button and also if you want to hear the latest apple news reviews and comparisons please also make sure you subscribe to the channel and also hit that notification bell too until next time guys i will see you soon take care bye bye